Well, hello everyone. It is late at night. I can't believe this is my second time having to do this because I apparently somehow didn't actually record the first time that I ran through this. This is a fall embellishment box for a swap on Facebook. Obviously fall themed. Um, papers from Hobby Lobby. So were the flowers. Uh, butterfly is from Michael's. Ribbon is from Joanne's. The little embellishment I think might have come from Hobby Lobby also, but that is the whole little arrangement there. This uh, top has like a shaker pouch in it. So if we open this up, make sure there's a little button there for the top. Oops. Okay, so there's the shaker part and it moves around nicely. I die cut some of the um, months, the September, October, November. And now I added that to the um, packaging here. This tool is from the Dollar Tree this year. It is silver on this side and it is gold on this side. Hopefully you can see that. And um, very fall uh, festive foliage there. I'm not going to take all of these out. There are five trims. One, two, three, four, six trims actually in here. Um, six different size ribbons and then more of this tool is uh, rolled up here and tied. We have some of the leaf scatter, the plastic pieces, the pumpkin, the leaves, um, and that's throughout in a lot of these different little compartments here. The rest of uh, this box right here are sunflowers and that came from Joanne's, I believe. This entire box right here are just wooden leaves that are different colored and different shapes uh, like maples and oak leaves and all nice stuff like that to use. This uh, compartment over here has a couple of sunflowers, the same as that I used on the front. Um, some orange bling and some more of the plastic pieces. Um, geez. Well, there we go. The pumpkins, there's a few pumpkins in here. Here are two metal owls. I did actually use some alcohol ink on this one to darken it up a little bit. I was hoping to get uh, a little darker, more natural color. Anyway, this is the silver and it is plain on the back and with little coloration there. In this compartment, there are the flat back rhinestones uh, from my, or no, sorry. Uh, from Hobby Lobby also, and those come in the different fall colors. There is more leaf scatter in the bottom of each one of these compartments here, as well as some sequins that are scattered throughout. If I move this over, this little package uh, is made out of tracing paper that I made up, and there are words in here. This is the, the September, October, and November words that are die cut. And I'm just going to put all of them off to the side here. We had to make some embellishments too. So I found some fall printables. I de or reduced the size um, pretty significantly actually in Photoshop Elements. And there's three more pieces of the same one, or a similar anyway, out of the set. And that's just layered up. There's a little snippet piece of orange lace, some other fall papers um, that just made layered um, banners here and this is some sari silk for the bow. This is um, another little banner I guess you could call it. I don't really have a name for it. Um, I did use one of the stickers and then the dome pieces in the flat bottle cap. Some more lace and then this is sunflower ribbon that I just uh, cut on the side there. Um, I pinked the edges for that one. There are a couple of small little envelopes to use for paper crafting. I don't know if she does pocket letters or not, but uh, anyway, so a lot of, all my embellishments are basically small. Obviously they have to fit into the boxes too. Last year at Michael's, there were um, some fall um, new stamps. Anyway, so this is from last year. The pumpkin spice and everything nice as a stamp. And then it had the tea, or actually coffee cup, it had the steam. And it had some other words too. And I do have some of the words that are stamped and die cut. So there's that. This is this year's at Michael's. Um, it's actually a Halloween uh, themed stamp and die cut. Um, 
I didn't use the faces, but they come with like multiple faces that you can stamp on these pumpkins also. I just did a little coloring. This is the same stamp, the pumpkin spice and everything nice. I love stamping on the muslin and then hand stitching and then just frayed the edges uh, to make that look nice. Uh, there is some coffee. She said my partner um, did say that she drinks both coffee and tea. So I sent her a little coffee there since it is the season. Here are some of the other words that goes along with that coffee um, mug. So the pumpkin spice and everything nice. It says autumn, this says pumpkin, and that says fall. There is actually another <coughs> word, harvest, that I didn't use for some reason. I don't know why I didn't do that. But anyway, there is harvest also. And then if we move to this corner. <clears throat> this was an Etsy stamp that I bought last year. It's a uh, small tickets. I don't have any words that would fit in there that was fall themed. But anyway, so I just cut those out though. Used a little Tim Holtz uh, paper clip for that. Here are the other three pieces of um, the small tags. And again, these were quite large and then I just decreased the size and then hole punched the centers there. There are two washi samples. It says I'm thankful and this is pumpkin spice and everything nice. There's another fall um, uh, washi right there for that one. I did uh, make one of these and I stuck it to the bottom of uh, uh, the container there so that my partner would know again who made it and in what year 2019 on there. I did find some more fall printables to print out. <clears throat> this is available for free and here is a fall bucket list. Pumpkin spice and everything nice. I think that's a very common themed and then um, actually so these were actually 8 by 10 um, originally like wall wall decor that you would print off and use in your household but I, I reduced them greatly. These two pieces are from Katie um, Pertier. I love using her stuff. Her her work is phenomenal and these were actually quite large. This was a 12 by 12 square I do believe originally and I just reduced it down to about an inch and a quarter maybe square. And then this is autumn fun. So those little pieces of ephemera can be used for her paper crafting. Here is a little sample of um, Baker's twine and some other little uh, twine that I had that I sampled out for her. I do have a folded up napkin here. Um, I got this from Tuesday morning. I took off the double layer of the papers just so that it was thinner and I don't know she likes to decoupage or not but anyway that gives her four images of squares that she would be able to use. And I'll put that off to the side. This is just a gathered piece of fabric that I stuck some buttons on. Again, not sure what she would use it for. Um, hopefully that she will. And I just uh, put a little piece of ribbon just to give it some strength and so it didn't get all wonky there. Uh, and hopefully she'll be able to use that. Stickers from Michaels and the glitter leaves and pumpkins. I made three stick pins oh, and there's the sequins. Okay, so I'll take all of these out and then I'll show you. So just some lace to go along with that for her. This one has a little butterfly. Oh, let's see which is the best way to do this. A little butterfly dangle right there. And all of these are in fall colors. Used a lot of the pearls since they were natural tones. And that's the three um, stick pins that I did make for her. I love making stick pins. It's like one of my favorite things to do in a swap is to share that. And then this last compartment are just the leaves. Um, some of them have glitter. Some have the rhinestones. Some are plain. Um, so the flowers and these are the leaves from Hobby Lobby this year too. So that's kind of like all mixed up there. There's some sequins and some scatter that's down below. But anyway, that is my swap. I appreciate you looking and um, I actually think I'm going to do another swap in another group and hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.